Wait, before you start watching this video, there's a couple things you need to know. First off, if you haven't watched any of the pond videos, you need to stop right now and go to the playlist and start from the beginning. It's really important so you understand what's going on because this pond is basically a story. And second, if you don't like or subscribe to my channel, you're basically saying, you don't like my fish. And that's just not cool. They like you. You should like them. All right guys, so what we're doing today is uh, some proper amount of maintenance and something I've been talking about doing for a while. Uh, let me just show you what's going on. So if you look right here, when it rains really hard, the water drains out of the pond and it erodes around the pond. What we're going to do today is pull back all of the pavers, all of the stones, I have little holes drilled along the rim of the pond that when the water rises it drains out of the pond all around the pond. I need to divert the water from everywhere to just going right here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put like a stone leach field in right here on this side of the pond so the water runs out into the yard and doesn't erode on our beach. That's the plan. We got a special surprise for the end, but you're just gonna have to watch the entire video to see how we transform the look of the pond and just, you know, look at it right now. And we're gonna transform it just to kind of give it that one more natural touch. So stay tuned, watch the entire video. We're gonna get started. put this drainage hose around the pond and put the pavers up against this drainage hose. I'm going to cut a slice in the drainage hose so the water will run out of the pond into this drainage hose and then what we're going to do is a whole rock leach field right here and I'm probably going to use some pond liner to go underneath the leach field so the water is guaranteed to run right out of the pond area. That's the plan. Oh, excellent. Okay, cool. Here, stretch this out. There's there's holes to fall out.
All right, so we have the drainage all in. I made a slice, you guys can see, right here, and all the water's gonna drain out into this hose and then out right here, and then I'm going to make a rock leach field right here. So now we just gotta figure out how are we gonna cover up this drainage hose? Well, we already have an idea for that. Slate rock. This is gonna give it this North Carolina mountain look that we've been going for for a long time. And we just came across these at Lowe's today. We got a whole pallet full. We're gonna get going. I'm gonna start working on the leach field and my beautiful assistant's gonna start laying slate. Well guys, that's it for today on the pond. Uh, I hope you liked it. I hope you think it's a good idea. Um, actually, let me talk to you guys for a few minutes just about some things that's been commenting on some of the new, the older videos. Um, I had a video out that I was having a real hard time with algae bloom. I have completely solved that and no, I did not buy a UV light for the filter system. I actually came up with a very, very simple, very cost effective filter system. And I'm just gonna explain it real quick to you guys. All right, so we have a 600 uh, an hour, 650 an hour pump in the middle. It sprays off a little bit of fountain for some extra oxygen. It pumps into this 110. The 110 is filled with plants, okay? Um, we got two types of lily pads, we have elephant ears, and we have cattail, okay? That's all our natural plants. All the fish doo-doo and stuff drops down into this pond. This pond also has a bio filter. I have like bio um, materials inside that box right there. So all the poop falls down inside of this pump and then it overflows into this. I have a mechanical pump down here at the bottom. That is a... 1500 uh, an hour pump it pumps into this waterfall box which has bio filter material in there which is all just cheap stuff and then pumps back into here and i have crystal clear water i do not have any live plants inside where the actual koi's are um, mostly because they kill them they root around in the pots and they kill the plants and the plants eat all the nitrate and the nitrites in the water so you got to have nice lively plants so that's why i made this one into a planter the only fish in here are placos placos eat all the algae that tends to um build into this pond just because there's no kois that keep keep the algae down the algae pick away at the the koi pick away at algae just a little bit enough to keep this pond perfectly fine so, and I have mosquito minnows and another breed of minnows in here also, and they're very dark colored, so they're hard to see. So 
this is where all my live plants are. This is basically a giant biofilter. It takes care of everything. The plants eat all the nitrates and nitrites and keeps it completely crystal clear. It, I've been doing it this way for about almost two years and it's been working perfectly. Crystal clear water. Well, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below if you have any questions on what you've seen here today, and I'll let you guys know if this drainage works out the next time it rains real hard. Have a good one, guys. Thank you so much for watching.